Well, I see by the old monitor on the wall that uh -huh. we're going to be going to Rome today. Yes, we're going to do Italian cuisine today. I can hardly oh. wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm having a delicious dish, and yours looks pretty good, too. I'm going to do something with zucchini. Oh. And salami. And eggs. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Sounds wild. Well, it, it, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be okay, and I believe. Talking about wild, our viewers have been at it again. Listen to this little note that you came in the mail. watching again? No, listen to this. Uh oh. Saw the thinner one at the Waffle House when we were in Roanoke at a toy show. <laughs> and he asked for a recipe and said, P.S., sorry we missed the handsome one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I believe that's some of your family's writing, no, isn't it? No, uh, no, that's an unsolicited <laughs> piece of testimony. I just brought some of this in yeah, today. <laughs> I do get kidded an awful lot because I eat at one of the local uh, waffle joints uh, on a regular basis and complain about it and just hate the place. But there's no other place in, on my, in, in Southwest uh, County to eat breakfast in the morning. So I just go there and complain every morning. And this this uh, lady has called us a new name. This is from Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh-oh. Please send all recipes available on your program. All of them. <laughs> For a week or more that the pineapple Betty was in. <laughs> said, I missed some of the programs, but I love your recipes and your style of cooking. So easy and relaxed uh. and joyful, uh. especially your sense of humor is wonderful. I've always thought all of those things about our program. Uh, we've never been called joyful before. No, never have. Mm -hmm. never now, have. where is the one in here? Well, look, the the lady that's, just oh, I know, that sent me in the, the, from the, sent a recipe. And be sure to send us your recipes because we're going to do some viewers' recipes uh, later on this to, year. He enjoys making fun of them so much. This one says, Dear Larry and Laban, just watched your program on Cuban cooking. Didn't understand much of it, but was pleased to know you two have finally got adequate cooking tools. Mm -hmm. People are noticing. And uh, let's see. Here's a cheap recipe to use. Often is your mind to. You can feed four people for about a dollar. It's a main course, it's filling, mm. and most men and even some children will eat it. And it's good <laughs> enough for company. <laughs> and so she sent company. in this recipe that we'll certainly do on the air for chicken liver soup. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So that's some of the mail that, w that we've got. Is that from Pound, Virginia? How about that? Uh -huh. It is Pound, mm -hmm. Virginia. Yeah. We've had their cakes. I, rem well, I was going to say, I remember when the place was so small, it was just a half a pound. Uh, <laughs> a couple of ounces. Terrible. But well, anyway. Let's go over here and, uh, and cook up on this. Okay. All right. Let's do. Excuse me. I'm <laughs> hooked on something. Caught your um, I'm hooked on a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing liver and noodles. Well, just let me say one thing, then I'll let you get rolling. Okay. Because this is the part that we don't need to stand around and watch me do. I have a couple of zucchinis. This calls for a medium zook. My recipe does. And these were the biggest mediums I could find yesterday. It's that time of the oh, year. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is probably take two or three of these. And what I'm going to do is just take the little outsides off of them and, and cut them real thin. And that's going to take a while, so I'm going to start that while Mr. Johnson heads right in for his main entree. Well, I'm doing liver and noodles, and I've got the noodles, and I'm going to put them in here. And all right, now all you kids out there in the studio, please remind me that they have to come off of the stove in about five minutes. Well, five Johnson, I'm minutes. glad to see that you finally have a recipe where you can use your noodle. Oh, give me a break. Now, for this recipe, I'm melting a half a stick of margarine. <laughs> And I'm adding to it about an ounce of diced salt pork. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, you know. A clove of crushed garlic. Is that Valleydale? What? Pork? Of course. Great. Of course. And now I'm going to pound this clove of garlic into submission. <coughs> Along with the stove and right. the electronics. And, and the I've got to slice two onions. So while the, the butter is doing it, I'll do this. Now, this is a real easy recipe to do and it's really really tasty and uh, the salt pork will give it just a wonderful flavor and you really don't have to use a whole lot of it so be careful we don't want to over we don't want to pork out too far I should have had these onions already peeled but what can you do and they just need to be sliced thinly and I think I'm going to slice them this way. Of 
It sure is nice having knives that cut, Larry. Yeah, I was just thinking that as I was doing these zooks real thin. Because, you know, we have worked for so long with inadequate... These things you get, these zucchinis, I'm getting them so thin you could read the newspaper through them. But if, you know, I've if always you could get wondered. The newspaper. Well, yeah, one, if you could get the newspaper, and, and two, why would you want to read a newspaper through a zucchini anyway? I've always Well, kind of I don't wondered. know. It does sound kind of interesting. Uh huh. Woo hoo uh, hoo! Boy, let me get that garlic out of there. I'm going to take the garlic out before it browns too much, and I'll add it in just a little bit here while I'm doing this other I've onion. Got mm. me under my skin. They love it when we do onions here and uh, nice garlic. And thin. see? Because you can smell it all over the studio. I guess Mr. Rex could even smell it in there. Well, I'll be having no comments about that. Oh, okay. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have been real bad the last couple of weeks, and I just, oh. I'm going to behave myself. Oh, uh-huh. We try not to throw off on the staff too much, because well, they're, no, they're real, they really are, a, a they're, nice bunch of people. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, for a television crew, I don't know if I've ever worked with a nicer one. Except for that bunch of gypsies we worked with that time. Yeah. They were so sweet. Oh, oh and this salt pork. Well, that stuff is just... Lying around. Crazy. I yeah, don't know. Gonna, I'm going to put the onions in here, start the onions in. I believe it maybe one of these be enough anyway, after all. Well, I'll do a little more just in case. And the onions, are, oh boy, that smells good. That's what gives cooking a good name. It's so aromatic. Uh-huh. And it smells good, too. <laughs> and you just have to keep stirring around. How long have my noodles been in two more minutes that we're even get who was that was that, that was maureen? lovely maureen she's big on our time, time and noodles counting for the noodles at the bell we brought her in just for the noodle timing today oh, uh, she's a good woman she helped me through a wonderful show the other night and what i'd done without her i know she was very attractive at that little engagement oh mm -hmm. i don't want these things to burn That lovely full-length gown and tennis shoes. Mm-hmm. And people out there will think we're just funning, but it's But we were, we're telling the truth. Well, she looked fabulous. She did. Utterly fabulous. And nobody was looking at anybody's feet anyway at that party. It was so crowded. Now, while these babies brown here, oh, here's a noodle that never made it and got toasted. Oh, that's real sad. The Tough noodle luck. that didn't make it. <laughs> it's like Sounds like a story. That could, uh -huh, that's right. For children would see that on... <laughs> Sesame Street, the noodle that didn't well, make it. There are probably children out there watching oh, this boy, show this crying really right good. now. Now, here are our livers. Oh, and boy. My favorite I'm, part of the I'm show. I'm not going to wash these. It calls for washing them and drying them off, but I don't have time. And it probably will totally ruin the taste of it for you gourmands out there. But just Why would a, you wash it? Now, I don't understand. I've never well, washed the reason livers is before in my life. That, well, I don't do it usually either, but some finicky people claim that if you don't wash it and peel all, you know, take all, all that little stuff, fat, that it'll give it a, a, a strong a taste. A nasty taste. Now, I have not found that. Maybe that is in some uncultured livers, but the livers that we get around here are just real fine. Uh-huh. While we're just now, standing let around. Let me just pour, I'm going to put oh, these right. livers in because they have to saute for a few minutes. And Larry, you can do anything you want to. Oh, well. Wait. Huh. I've taken these zooks, which have been very thinly done. You can see they're real thin. Well, how embarrassing. I picked up one that was real thick. These are fairly, there we go. These are fairly thin, see. And I have put a little oil and butter in there, and I've gotten it fairly hot now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover those. Boom. I'm going to cover those for just a couple of minutes and let them, let them just kind of saute on top of the stove. And while we're doing that, that's one medium zucchini. You don't want to overdo it with zucchinis, and you'll find out why later, because we're going to make sort of like a little omelet is what it is, eggs and zucchini, so zucchini omelet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up, well, I don't think I'll ever get it open, the salami. There are better ways of buying salami than this. I mean, as far as saving money, but I just kind of was running around the last minute. We're going to take 
two of these, two of these lovely salamis. And we're going to take them and just cut them up a little bit. Just chop them at random. Or you can chop them at your kitchen table. It doesn't matter. Just chop those up because we're going to add the zucchini into the little omelet in just a little bit. And it's very important while you're doing this to have a little water. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm oh, so glad to know so the good. importance of, it you is. know, you should drink eight glasses of that water every day. Now, you cook covered for five minutes, all right, the zucchini. You don't have to cover yourself and stand around for five minutes. So that's what we're doing. We're just waiting for a minute and a half. Uh-huh. Two well, minutes. Gosh. I've taken my noodles out and, and buttered them so that they will hold in this pan while my other so, things are over here. Cooking. So they'll hold what? So that they, they will stay warm and they won't stick together. Oh, well, Laban, how attractive. Mm-hmm. Mm. Doesn't it look good? Why oh. did my pan cool off? My heat cooled down too much. I'm telling you, what can you do with a stove like this? It's such a mess. Anyway, I've got to find the salt and pepper. I thought we had it out. Meanwhile, it? back here in this section, we're just three minutes. We're just <laughs> waiting for a couple more minutes for these things. Are they? Ten oh, they look well. They're starting. To me. To, oh yeah, they're starting to get there. In fact, I don't know. I think maybe we can just go on ahead and do what we got to do now. Okay. Now we're going to add the salami. I think I'm going to put a little more in there. I think it looks like it needs a little bit more. Okay, I'm salt and peppering my livers over here. I'm going to put another one in there. And you're going to cook that, you got to cover that for five more minutes. I'm just going to be waiting I just around. love this shaker top that you got. Uh, Isn't that attractive? That it's just wonderful. What week. I did was I turned it inside out and it's worked real well ever since. Now mix that all up. Isn't that pretty? It's mm. just a picture of gorgeousness. And we're going to cover that up now for five more minutes. Blink. There it goes. Now while that's going. Drink a little more water. <laughs> I've got the livers going over here. and He's got his liver to, going again. Isn't that wonderful? Them. You have to keep turning your livers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's wrong? No, I thought for a minute that we'd gotten a heart down in there. I hate oh, you to know, get we've a had that heart in the livers. Ooh. You know, we've had that happen here before. I think it's because when they process these chickens, they rush them through so uh -huh. fast. And you get hold of that heart, and boy, you bite down on that thing, and your teeth bite. Well, you know, when you got 500 chickens flying past you every five minutes, uh -huh. it's got to be a little difficult to tell the hearts from the gizzards from mm -hmm. the livers. I would but imagine, the, anyway. Yeah. But it smells like liver, doesn't it? It smells real good. It's wonderful. Of course, you know one thing, folks, when you're cooking livers, they cook very quickly as opposed to the hearts and the gizzards that take forever and ever to cook. They're, they are real tough and they take a long, long time to cook. So that's why you want to make sure that you get your, uh, your parts separated because you wouldn't want to eat a raw heart. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Now, the liver, if it's a little pink, I don't mind it. But uh, I don't want to bite down on some chicken's heart that's still just one foot beyond the pulsing. I just right. wish you'd get off it and go on something else. All right, now there's our livers and we're going to, we've added salt and pepper and let's see, I think I'm going to add, oh, maybe just a little bit of a, a, a piece of a bay leaf. Ooh, this if salami it, is starting to smell wonderful in there. I can get it Put open. Away in there. And I here's, believe I could send some kind of signals. Mm -mm. Now, I'm, I'm signifying to the camera people with it. I've got messy. this bay leaf and I'm crumbling it in my paw. Get in there, get in there. And let's see. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh. You know, we oh, both of us had a time with that this year. Now, I want you all to know they were on the pan when he sneezed, but he did cover his little mouth and he has rushed back and washed his hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People get so uppity and huffy oh, about I it. I know. 
Really it's like do. we were cooking for a restaurant. You know, I was not. talking the other day. You know how people give us a hard time about uh, sticking their fingers in there, licking them and all that stuff? And I was watching one of those burger commercials the other night, and they were smacking their hands around and throwing burgers back and forth. And, hey, I mean, you know, give me a break. Now, I've used two-thirds of a cup of white wine. And uh, let's see, I think I'll uh, cover it. What did I do with the lid? Here it is right here where I needed it. Now it's gonna get, oh, I'm gonna sneak, that pepper has really. Now what is it you're getting ready nothing. to no, do? No, I was about to sneeze again, but I fought it and won. I'm not gonna do it. Now while that's going, I'm going to open this lemon up to get ready because I have to have the juice of a lemon in it and I also have to have some parsley. So I'll get that out. How's yours coming? Oh, real good. Oh, real good. What is that? Down I'm going to beat up four eggs here in a minute, but it just doesn't oh. take much time to beat up eggs, as well, you know. Anyway, I'll get this parsley chopped up. So we'll watch you uh, chop the uh, parsley. Because I've got, <laughs> I've got to have two tablespoons of chopped parsley. Save a little of that parsley for me, okay, on, I'll if be you glad would, to. because I have a recipe coming up next week that I need it for. Okay. We'll put it in our refresher and see if it'll. And I have some, but I want you to see this. Oh. It's frozen. That's some and more it's of your just, famous frozen. It is. It's frozen, and it's just as limp as a dish rag. Oh. But hey, look, it's good. All right, mm -hmm. I'd still prefer frozen parsley, fresh from my garden, than I would the dried stuff. Because really, it's not bad. It still has a very, very nice smell and flavor to it. The only bad thing about doing this in your freezer, by the way, while we have a couple of dead moments here, uh, is that you have to make sure that you get your, get the little bags wrapped real tight or put it in some kind of an airtight container because it will make your ice cubes taste terrible. Have you ever done that? Put parsley in yes, the freezer? Yes, and it, it's awful. Ooh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Where's that little thing that Mike was playing with? That what? he was going to let us borrow? Little airplane? That little helicopter. We I, could show everybody that. It flew up that and, uh, <laughs> swell little, I, I don't did think it fly away. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see how we're doing over here in this. Ooh, wee, look at this. It's making a beautiful sauce. Larry, this looks gorgeous, if I do say so myself. Really? And I do. Let's show the folks as the recipes. All right, while let's we're do that. Let's look at these recipes of things while we do the here. last garnish on it. That'll be coming up in just a second. Now the eggs and zucchini. You got a medium zook. Quarter cup of oil, a little bit of butter, that's what you fry all that in, along with the salami. Four eggs beaten. We're getting ready to do that in a couple of minutes. Eggs is the very last thing you want to put in there because, uh, you know, this is an omelet. You don't need to bake it all day. It just stays in for about two minutes, something like that. And a little salt and pepper and two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, which we're going to put on there as soon as we get finished with it. Uh -huh. That's that. Right. And now for the other one, we have a pound of livers, four tablespoons or a half stick of butter, an ounce of salt pork diced, quarter cup of oil, a quarter cup of onion sliced thin, garlic, clove, mashed, a bay leaf, uh, pepper, salt, white wine, juice of a lemon, parsley, and thin egg noodles. This is fabulous. <laughs> I was told this was fabulous. You know what I'd like to say right now? He, well, but I better not because there would be people that would take it the wrong way. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he broke it. I didn't mm -hmm. break it. I just didn't have a chance to wind it as tight as it needed to be wound. All right. Now, you're beating your eggs up, and I'm going to add the juice of a lemon to this dish. Four eggs. That's what I'm going to beat up here in a couple of seconds with my powerful left hand. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. And you add, here we go. Mm. All right, we've beaten the egg up. Now we're gonna put that in there over top of all of this, the zucchini, the salami, a little salt and pepper at this point would be appropriate. And we're going to cook that on both sides, turn it over. It'll make a nice omelet. Where's that uh, pepper? Here it is. 
And, uh, and then we'll top it off with a little Parmesan cheese, Parmesan. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Isn't that a pretty colorful? Oh, that is gorgeous. Now I'm adding uh, two tablespoons of chopped parsley to mine. And it is just, oh, this is just heavenly. I can't believe it. It is beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Now, while that's going on, Larry, I'm going to put some noodles on both of these plates so that when the time comes, we can serve it. I cut that up just a little bit so that it'll get just a little bit hotter now. And it's starting to cook real good and brown just a little bit on the bottom. Right. If you can see inside my pan, you see that there is a wonderful sauce that has been made in here from these livers and the onions and, the, and the margarine and all this wonderful, wonderful. And it's cooking down now to the precious essence. And it is just gorgeous. And we're going to serve this over the noodles. She used to be our re receptionist here at the mm -hmm. station. No precious little noodles. Oh no, I thought we were talking about oh, precious. That essence. Reminds me of that movie we saw. <laughs> little noodles. Uh huh. Oh, remember that? <laughs> no. Yes. No. <laughs> the adopted about? child. I don't know what you're talking about, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> we watch so many movies. Uh -huh. We just have such a good time. But anyway. A, oh, oh, yes. look at it. It's just doing real well. Mm -hmm. You have to turn that over. I don't know. I, I really oh, hope not. No, I don't think so. I think it just will cook right up just like an omelet. Yeah, tilt it so you yeah, can we'll, we'll tilt it and let it, because uh, if I have to flip that big thing over, that'll go up, that'll probably go up better than that airplane went up a while ago and never come back. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might try and turn it over because it looks right runny on top to me. I've got it pretty no, hot. Let me see if I can get under. I need a bigger turner. Well, let's see. There's a Joe Turner, Spotter Turner, J Turner, J Turner, and <laughs> Ray Turner. Well, mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn it over in pieces, ladies and gentlemen. How embarrassing! If you have the proper equipment, you can do this quite easily. I just want to make sure it's not raw on the other side. Oh no! Oh, it looks good though. Oh, it does. It's okay. Here, it's just wanna... very lightly browned. Oh, you want me to just go on ahead and yeah, put it off? Do you want to do that now? Yeah, that'll be all right. all right. And that's it. You don't need to keep it on there. You know, you're not going to cook it all week. Now, don't take that away. I have one more thing to do here. Okay. A little, little Parmesan garnish. Parmesan cheese. There we oh. go. Isn't that lovely? And here. And another one. It does make for a very pretty and unusual uh, type of... Uh, mm. Here we go. Oh, this looks really quite good. And there we go. And we'll eat that in just a minute, but I, aren't we supposed to have a letter? Uh, oh, I forgot Miss Witch. Uh -huh. I was putting it on the table. He's getting just, forgetful. No, I'm not. I'm getting hungry. Where is the lovely Miss Witch? I don't think she's around here. Oh, I'll be... Well, wait a minute. Here, here she is. Oh, there she is. Well, it's a French postcard. <laughs> oh, don't put no. it toward the camera. Well, it's, one of those. No, it, we could show this one. It's a Claude Monet. Parlez-vous français? From the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Inky dinky parlez-vous, mm -hmm. it says on the outside it says, of what? Dear boys, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. here Translates we on. are in gay Paris. Yes. Oh, have we had a swell time. Sister tried to push some old man off the top of the Eiffel Tower oh, yesterday. That's terrible. She said she had been pinched enough in Rome and one more was all it took <laughs> to push her over the wall so she thought she would push him over uh, the wall. Yeah. We have been eating our way through all of the Parisian bistros. Yeah. They certainly are fun. Here are a couple of French dishes for you to try next week. So we'll try. Oh, them. terrific. So, next so week we get to do French in your next France week. next week. Oh, fabulous. French food. I'm just learning so much from this show this year. Oh, Johnson, you gave me far too many livers. <laughs> Don't you like the liver oh, of no, the young I do. chickens? I, no, I'm, I'm only kidding. I do like liver. I don't love it, but I like it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mmm, mmm. That's good. That's good. That's good. 
Ooh, the egg and zucchini is heavenly. Is it really? Oh, it's out of this world. And so is this fabulous dish with the noodles and the and the chicken livers. Very oh. nice flavor. Very nice. Oh, it's really good. We really do recommend both of them. They're excellent. Oh. 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 Well, I think, ooh, I think, I think our journey to uh, sunny Italy has Goodbye been a great success. Goodbye is what he's trying to I'm say. Trying to say goodbye, they won't let me. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at BlueRidgePBS.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.